Okay, try to establish your mindfulness of the body. Take a survey from the body you've got sitting here right now. How does it feel? When you breathe in, how does it feel? When you breathe out, how does it feel? What kind of breathing feels best? This contemplation is grounding. Because otherwise we live in our thoughts. And our thoughts can go anywhere. And they can jump from one world to another really quickly. Sometimes they give the mind whiplash. It's the nature of the mind that wants to find a happiness that's stable and solid. But it keeps looking for that happiness in things that are not stable and not solid at all. So it's used to the idea that finding happiness means jumping from one thing to the next. We're going to teach it a new lesson here. Happiness comes from just being still with something that can provide some stability. The breath is not absolutely stable. After all, it comes in goes out. But the fact that you're staying with the body means that you're grounded. You've got a foundation. You don't have to keep moving out. There are no eviction notices. You can stay right here as long as you want. Of course, there's the ultimate eviction notice, but in the meantime, learn to be grounded right here. Not because we're going to take the body with us, we're going to take the mind with us, but you get the mind trained. You get to know the mind really well. When you can step outside of it a little bit, and the body allows you to do that. And as the Buddha explains, breath meditation is not just a matter of focusing on the breath. You're aware of your feelings, you're aware of your mind states. And then the different mental qualities that go into making up either good or bad mind states. And you know how to adjust the, the bad ones so you can turn them into good ones. It's all right here. And in getting to know the breath, you get to know the mind really well. And when you know the mind, then you're more in charge. When the time comes to go, you can go in, in the right direction. Most people, as the Buddha said, die untamed deaths. In other words, they haven't tamed their mind. Which means that when death comes, it's like smashing your finger down on a little glob of mercury. It, go, it can go in any direction and sometimes scatters around and who knows what, where it's going to end up. But when the mind is clear to itself, then you can direct it. then you're more in charge. So try to take charge of the breath right here. Settle the mind down right here. And as the two get together, they get to, you get to know both of them. And knowing both of them, you have more control over your well-being here and now, and your well-being on into the future.